French Senate moves to ban hijab in sports competitions. On January 19th, the French Senate voted, voted in favor of banning religious veils in sporting events. With the overwhelming support of the French right-wing party, Les Republicains, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, the bill passed with a 60 to 160 to 143 vote. The amendment specifically prohibits clothing of quote-unquote conspicuous religious symbols in sports competitions. However, the bill's text does clearly state that the amendment aims to ban, quote, the wearing of the veil in sports competitions. The senators in favor of the bill asserted that headscarves could put athletes' safety at risk and religious differences need to be put away when playing in the field. Uh, Les hijabists or AKA translation, the hijabis, a group of headscarf wearing soccer players have been campaigning against the ban of women from wearing headscarves in official matches. Now their focus is on the bill passed by the French Senate. Many are curious to see the outcome of this bill when France will host the next summer Olympics in 2024. So before we get into this, this isn't passed uh, into law yet. This still has to go through a process. So there's still an extra step where this could be thrown out entirely. But this is makes moving no closer to, to having this happen. Does this make sense to you? This makes no sense to me. I was going to say, most of this makes no sense to me. So I was thinking about this carefully. In terms of being consistent and in line with France's laissez-faire and um, commitment to secularism, I was thinking if this was saying that you're not allowed to have religious symbols while being in a sports competition that represents France, that would yeah. make sense to me with the yeah, values yeah. of the French Republic. Um, but I was reading to figure out, is this only when you are representing France as a nation in the field of sports or is it or all just competitions? Sports. And on all the sources I was looking at, it seems like it's just sports um just like just private sports like not even like nothing to do with the government the government is like this is you can't wear this when you're like playing soccer in in a, in a competition setting that's what it that was the what? way that i interpreted it um and the government like it's a private like it has nothing to do with the government it's a private like a match and the government is like you can't wear a hijab because of safety issue how is the hijab how is the headscarf is this how's the Hijab is a safety issue. Okay. Okay. There's I, two different. First of all, okay. I don't understand. There's two different re reasoning he given here, right? Like no religious symbols. If it's no religious symbol thing, it's a private match. It has nothing to do with the government. They're just playing people playing soccer. What is it? Wh how is this your business, government, to tell us what to what what to wear when we're playing sports? One, two. Safe. How is it a safety issue? So I was thinking about this because that also seemed ludicrous to me. I was like, how is this a safety issue? Well, okay. There, if it is a head scarf, like a literal scarf, depending on, there's a risk of strangulation or there's a risk of um, the scarf falling off and then um, being interfering with other athletes. Like when has somebody been breaking an ankle or something? Has anybody ever been strangled from their hijab while they're playing sports? I don't know. But even if we grant that, even if we grant that, that's one form of hijab. I've seen the kinds that are like, you know, just a little, almost like a ski mask that you just like a gator that you pull over your face. And it's just like right there. That's just um, like a little Jersey tube, right? That's not going to strangle you the same way. That's not going to fall off and cause this injury to other like, players. So they're, can you they're... just imagine? No, no, no. Can you just imagine like in the middle of a soccer field, a woman like just be like, I'm dying. And people are surrounded, like, my hijab is killing me. And like, I shoot the ball in this wrong way. And now my hijab is wrapped around my neck in such a way. And now I'm dying because of this. The French government was wrong, right. Like we should have done this. <laughs> <laughs> okay but here's the and thing and everybody's like what do we do the hijab is like suffocating like like oh just like no it's too it's it's like so tight you can't take it off she's dying she's dying like oh my god what the hell <laughs> what are you talking this makes no sense it is How's pretty extreme so i thought <laughs> yeah that was ridiculous and i'm making the assumption because in the U.S., I mean, technically, thing. soccer players seem to get hurt re like really easily. I've seen videos <laughs> of uh, <laughs> so maybe, maybe soccer players. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, wait. Going? Let me finish. So, okay, 
I, there are already, I'm going to assume most sporting federations have, um, uh, the, uh, what they allow in, in the ring or on the field is always already very tightly controlled. So I'm going to assume, I don't know this for a fact that they have already made, you know, maybe a guideline about what kind of a job is acceptable or not. Like you can't have it be a scarf tied around your head. It has to be, you know, something that's loose around the neck or just like a tube over the face. That's not going to cause, um, any strangulation. So I was like, that shouldn't be a factor when dealing with this bill. That's like such, to me, that seems like just patent BS. Like, oh, we're concerned about the danger of it. It's like, are you really? The fact that it does explicitly name the veil in the bill is, um, very telling, obviously. And I'm curious about what efforts would be taken against other religious symbols. They say it's not allowed, but what if someone has like a tattoo of a crucifix, like on their body in a place that's visible outside of uniform? What are you going to do? But I mean, I don't understand. This is like, these are people just play, like people playing sports. Like this is not a domain where the government could come just tell people what to wear. Like it's such a such an overreach, such an overreach. The it's, the French uh, soccer federation already bans women from wearing headscarves in official matches and the competitions that organizes. So that was already in place from a specific federation. Now, but I mean, now they want a government it law. governmental. Is that a governmental body or no? That's yeah, just right? the the soccer federation. So that's one specific okay. sport. Mm. It's obviously one of the most popular sports, so that's why it's so notable. Um, a lot of people are saying that this is just a political ploy to try to get the right wing to um, uh, be pulled into, you know, Macron's more centrist positions ahead of like their upcoming um, presidential election. Here's, so that might yeah, be a here's motivation. Actually, here's actually the most charitable take. Okay, the most charitable. I know this is going to sound ridiculous. Okay, but I'm just putting it out there as a as something to consider okay let me know what you think about this maybe this is a bill uh, such a suggestion okay maybe this is helpful to muslims do you know how this is a good thing for muslims in fact um think about how think how maybe how it will sh give show genuine government overreach no how could the, people in the live chat how could this be beneficial to muslims in france oh wait you don't like sports because sports you get injured in sports so would it be because they're being prevented no. from getting sports no, no 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 let me stop no 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 <laughs> no 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 it's because because if macron loses it would be these right-leaning parties that would win and they would be a lot worse Right. So maybe Macron doing something that gets the vote of all of these right, like extreme right leaning people in France would be a good thing because whatever they introduce would be less harsh because they're trying to make sure that these right leaning parties don't win. Right. So they're stealing their voter base by by appeal, appealing to them a little bit. Right. And that way they, Macron will stay in power and Muslims will be safe from more far more right leaning parties. Do you know what I mean? So maybe giving them something as a way to avoid giving them everything. Um, that's I know. think uh, that's maybe the best we're going to get in terms that's of the best we're gonna argument. Get, yeah. I think this is absurd. <laughs> um, yes, this is absurd. All yeah, competition, to... like, yeah. All right, let me give you let me give an advice to Muslims in France, okay? Uh, Muslim, you need to do a fundraising, okay? And you need to do you need to make a five minute comedy skit. You, you, you know, actually, any Muslim YouTuber in France or some or anybody, okay? This is a golden opportunity, okay? Go and make a comedy, a five minute comedy video, right? And make a woman playing soccer with their hijab. And make make that hijab come off and attack everybody, right? Make it so like it's <laughs> <laughs> make it make it it starts pretty mild. 
<laughs> it starts pretty mild as it starts to like oh my god my hijab is like a little bit like tight like oh can you breathe like no i'm suffocating like no what's happening and then it's like oh my god like yeah get it off and you can't get it off and then the hijab comes like and after she like she dies like oh no we shouldn't have wearing a hijab during sports she's dead now what do we do but then the hijab comes off and then attacks the rest of them right the non-hijabis as well right <laughs> and then like the <laughs> <laughs> the non hijab be like, like, and then the next one dies. They're like, what do we do? Macron, save us, but save us from hijab or something like that. Make that, make this, make make fun of this this law, but with that comedy skit. Okay, do it, do it, do it. This is good. Thing. I think um, the idea of a attack hijab is hilarious. Yes, yes, it's it reminds me of Python, like the killer bunny, where they're like, look at that cute little bunny, and it just jumps, and then it's like, get there at the neck, and it's like, oh my god, the jugular. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It would be like the Doctor Strange cape, right? But it would be a hijab. It would just attack everybody. And then, okay, so no, th there's a there's like a girl that is not non hijabi. Uh, it starts with a non hijabi uh, girl that is happy that this is happening, right? Well, actually, no. Okay, it's a non hijabi girl that hates the hijab um, and hates one of her. So another soccer player that is a hijabi there like she doesn't like her she's like a little bit bigoted against her or something and then she all after all of this happens she wakes up we realize that this was a dream like a hijab was attacking her and killing her and all of her friends right and she wakes up and she realized that this was whole, the whole thing was a nightmare and there's a picture of macron right next to her bed and she she grabs a picture and she holds it and she's like happy and falls asleep in the picture <laughs> She's like, it's okay. Hijab is not going to hurt me. Macron is here to protect you. Right? And, she <laughs> to and she's like, picture kisses Macron. And like, Hijab is not going to hurt. Hijab is not going to hurt me. All right. And she falls asleep. <laughs> okay. You're being very creative with your whole movie ideas today. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. Um, one thing I do think is very interesting to consider is this This has the opportunity for this to com be completely thrown out and erased, right? Um, mm. That could still happen. But if this does go into effect and then France hosts the Olympics, what's going to happen when all like Iran comes and their female athletes have to wear the hijab on the film, on the field or in, in on the court? And then in France, there's this prohibition on uh, of it in the competition. So if this go does go into effect, there is going to be a huge conflict there. That would be very interesting to follow. I thought, uh, I don't think they could, uh, I don't know. I don't, can they put this law on other people? Okay, I think like this law is not gonna pass. Can we make, can we say that? I is don't that, know, it, I have no idea about French politics. This is too ridiculous. I think it's like just a way to, like, hey, let's suggest this and make sure it doesn't pass just so that we could get, make people happy that, oh yeah, Macron is on your side, you know, something like that. Hopefully this is just a PR stunt and it's not a serious suggestion. I mean, it's still bad, even as a PR stunt, that's horrible that this, is, this gets even offered, but let's see, let's see. Hopefully it doesn't get passed. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.